Okay, I am reading a site for medical insurance. My task is to uh, provide my initial thoughts on the home page. So, okay. So far, it looks pretty nicely set up. It's not too jumbled. It is a little strange that it doesn't go all the way across the page. I'm used to websites taking up all of the space on the page, so it's kind of distracting. Um, I think they could make better use of the space. I know that everyone has different size browser windows, but this is smaller than the average window. Um, there's an About Us page, Missions and Values, Health Plans. Um, doesn't look like you can click the link for Medical Education or Health Services. I don't know why they would be there if you can't click them. Um, you need professional services, click here. Okay, that doesn't really make much sense. It doesn't really explain much about what you're going to get if you click there. Um, latest news and events. Okay, uh, well, there's gibberish there. Same with under welcome to our website and what we offer new services it's all gibberish so i don't know if they are i guess they're setting up this site um, because the company name is not under the copyright either okay specialist is spelled wrong um, under uh, support okay fight the flu learn more you can't click there so it looks like they have a ways to go on setting this site up. Uh, my next task is to use, let's see, apply for health plan using dummy information. So I'm going to click on health plans. Okay, calculate the right plan for me. Date of birth. I can't type in date of birth. I have to use the calendar. I don't like that. Because it, it is difficult to back up a calendar of like, you know, 35 years. I'd like to be able to type in. Okay, so, all right. I'm going to start backing it up. Okay. All right, we'll just put it there. Nationality. Where is the United States? I didn't see it in the news. Oh, there it is. It is there. Okay. Country of residence. We can do that again. I like it when companies that primarily get users from the United States put United States at the top of the list. Okay, email. Phone number. Okay, and it doesn't tell you what format they want the phone number in. They should put on here whether or not they want dashes or don't want dashes. Okay, plan for me. Okay. 
Okay. Choose your pen. Specialist treatment, you don't need to stay in a hospital. Prescribe medicine and medical equipment. Could Denise tell you more what they're about? Using transport costs to the nearest suitable medical. Okay, these don't really, I mean, they tell you what they are, but there's not a lot of information. Overnight in a stay case. I mean, it basically tells you hospital treatment and overnight stays plus related benefits, but what are they? What are the details of it? There's nothing in here to give you, and this question mark is not clickable. So they're expecting me to purchase an insurance plan that doesn't have any real information. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to select that one. Okay. So annual is 1200. No heart disorders, no endocrine disorders, no respiratory disorders, no stomach disorders. That's it for medical history, huh? Um, okay, card type. card per month in 2014. Okay, well that doesn't give you the right dates. 12-2011. Oh, valid from date. Okay, that's a first. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Expiration date. Well, 2014. I'll do one. 2014. Name on card. Jane Smith. Security number. I guess that's the three digit code. Oh, that's what you do with the question mark. Okay. You just sit on it. Security number or the last three digits in the back of your card. Okay, click on confirm payment. And it doesn't pop up and tell you that it did anything. I know that was dummy information, but it doesn't pop up and say payment confirmed or here's where you click to print your coverage or anything like that. So there's still a lot of work needed on this website. Let's see, I believe I completed all of my tests, so that's the end of this.